Araceli, good morning. Good morning. Hello, how are you, Araceli? Hi. Fine, very good. Nice to have you in the class. How was your night? Did you sleep well? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, yesterday I I I was to the mm -hmm. bed early. Oh my God! You went to the bed early. Uh, okay, early is <laughs> for you. Uh, Eleven, ten, nine. Eleven, yes. Eleven p.m. <laughs> is early. <laughs> Oh my God! What time do you usually go to bed? Um, no. Lo, lo, <laughs> lo que pasa es que quizás esa es mi hora de, de acostarme, pero generalmente me levanto a las tres de la mañana. What? Eleven. So you sleep at a cellie eleven, ten, twelve. One, two, so you sleep four hours. Yes. Oh, Araceli, really? And why do you get up at 3 a.m.? Uh, because my husband is, mm -hmm. is to work early and I ah, wake up to, to prepare yeah. things. Yes, the breakfast mm -hmm. and pray her. It's lunch, lunch. Right? Uh-huh. Oh lunch. my God, Araceli. So that's very difficult. <laughs> yes. Do you get up at, at 3 a.m. every day from Monday to Friday or just specific days? From Monday to to Thursday. Ah, but Thursday. now I... I mm -hmm. But now I don't okay. get up work. Okay, okay. Wow, that's very hard. Okay. <laughs> and, 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 and so vacations for you are very nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you sleep more. Okay, Araceli, that's it. Now I understand. You are tired sometimes. But anyways, can you, can you take a nap in the afternoon? No, right? No, no, ah, difficult. So more difficult for you. Okay, but you are a nice and a nice and a good wife, right? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Araceli. Franklin is here. Good morning, Franklin. Yes, I'm here. Hey, how are morning. you, Frank? Morning. Hi. Oh, very nice. Yes. How was your day yesterday? How was it? Was it good? It is good. What did you do? Tell me. Um, eh, eh, this semana. <laughs> Sorry? Eh, I, I don't know. I eh, understand. What activities did you do yesterday? Ah, Were you oh, in the house eh, or in the office? In the house. Ah, in the, the house. house. Ah, okay, yes. okay, okay. Did you work? Yes, I, mm. I work. And what um, time did you finish? Um, seven o'clock at seven. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay, 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 yeah. okay. Very good. That's nice. And today you 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 start at eight, right? Eight o'clock. Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. Very nice. Excellent, Franklin. Okay, Itzel is here too. Good morning, Itzel. Welcome to the class. We miss you yesterday. Morning. Hi. Yes. <laughs> what happened to you yesterday? Um, Were you busy I have working? working or... oh. Yes, I have working at uh, 10 mm -hmm. or 11 uh, at night. Uh, okay, okay, very night. late. And uh, yes, and uh, yesterday I I don't don't wake up early eh, <laughs> me gustó levantarme yes <laughs> dígame yes. it was difficult to get up <laughs> okay <laughs> it was difficult 
do that up okay, for me. Good. Okay, no yes. problem, right? Okay, one day at a week, no problem. Okay, but every day, yes. <laughs> okay, yes. nice to have you here once again. Okay, welcome back, Ili. Hello, good morning, Ili. Hello. How are you, Ili? How was your night? Uh, I feel like I zombie. Don't guy. Sleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. Oh, tell me, I am sleepy. I am sleepy. Okay, what time do you go to bed? Maybe 10. 11. 11? Mm -hmm. 11. And what time did you 30. get up today? At 5? At 6. No. Oh, 6. Okay, okay, okay. Araceli is like, wow, Araceli, I believe me, Araceli, I feel very like oh, wow with your situation she goes to bed at 11 and she gets up at 3 a.m 3 a.m okay so it's a super mother a super wife okay great very nice to have you here Ili. okay welcome to carlita beatriz too ivan okay welcome to the class welcome back Thanks. okay guys Good morning 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 i hope you have had a beautiful night okay full of beautiful dreams, right? My friends, we start, okay, today, the section number four, okay, but uh, we're gonna practice some exercises related to uh, the adverbials, okay? Uh, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, yesterday, I sent uh, this document, okay, for you, right? Uh, this is just to, to refresh your memory. You can check this, right? Okay, this, this information that we have here, this is the summary similar to what you're going to do in your oral presentation. Okay, so that's why we are practicing so you can have a better idea here. Okay, uh, I have here some dates. Can you read the dates, Ili? Hey, New Year's Eve or oh, what? Oh. Like these yeah. ones, Christmas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, now complete the following days or moments. Christmas, mm -hmm. now, November 2nd. Very good. October 1st. October 1st. No, October 1st. <laughs> no, okay, first. this is different. Uh -huh. Next. Yes. My birthday. My birthday. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. And, and the third Sunday of June. The third Sunday of June, okay? You have to check the calendar and tell me what day it is, okay? If it is a, a normal day or something, okay? You have to describe this day, right? Thank you. So here, what you have to use is this structure. February 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. New Year's Eve is the night, okay? Because this is not the day, this is the night when I have fun with my friends, okay? Here, I want you to be specific on what you do, okay? For example, in my case, Christmas is the day when I uh, visit my uh, mother-in-law, <laughs> okay? And have a, a dinner, okay? That's it. So this is a specific, no, spe no necessary has to do with something that you do, okay, um, or people in general do, but something specific. November 2nd, what is November 2nd, do you remember? November 2nd, what celebration or oh, festivity or... The day of the... En inglés, no sé, ay, bueno, ajá, no sé cómo se dice, pero el día de los difuntos. Ah. Repeat, the, the day of the dead. Uh -huh. The day of the dead. Okay, so try to remember this. I'm going to, I'm going to, the day of the dead, right? Uh -huh. The day of the dead, right? This is el okay. día de los muertos, right? De los difuntos, we say. Okay, mm -hmm. the day of the dead. Great, okay. okay. And then my October 1st, what is October 1st? Exa, you remember, good morning, October 1st. Any idea? The child day. Ah, very good, uh -huh, very good. The child, right, a child, or well, the niño or children's day, right? When I say children's day, remember I say with a contraction, okay? 
children's contraction. Look, they. So, aha, uh -huh, that's it. So that's what I say. El día de los niños, right? Or oh, child's contraction. Aha, uh -huh, uh, sorry. Child's, okay, they. That's it. Día del niño, specifically, okay? That's it. October 1st, very good. So you remember. Uh -huh. Your birthday. So in this case, you have to tell me specific, specific days here. Okay. Specific things you do, activities you do for your birthday. Then you have Mother's Day. This is how you celebrate it. Okay. How you celebrate it. And the third, June, the third Sunday of June. Okay. In this case, it's a Sunday. Okay, this is a Sunday, right? That's it. So this is like, they, this could be a number, okay? But a Sunday, I know that you have different activities for Sundays. For example, Gabby, what do you usually do on Sundays, Gabby? Good morning. Morning. Morning, morning. What do you usually do on Sundays, Gabby? Mm. Right now, right now, nothing, but. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, the, nothing, nothing, Gabi? No, with the pandemia, but. Um, yeah, the pandemia has been. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. No, but usually I visited my family in law. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So you say there the third Sunday of June, okay, is the day when I blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's it. This is something uh, individual okay this task is individual for you the one that we're gonna do together is this one the last part okay we have sentence a b c d e f g and we have seven sentences let's match the corresponding sentences okay if you don't remember this one you can take a screenshot right now or uh, you can go to the WhatsApp group and you have this practice there. Okay. Let's check now. We are going to do it. I'm going to give you five minutes, okay, to do this part. This is not so difficult. This is just like analyzing from one side to another one, okay? I'm going to give you five minutes to do this. Let's start working with your partners because then we have the topic for today. We're gonna do no. the first part. No, the second part. Second part. Excellent. This one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very good. Do you have the document, uh, Exa, so you can share the document here? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Uh, I'm opening. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, reason the same, master two. Okay, uh, read Gabby the color uh, red, and next okay. time you read the color blue side, right? You look okay. for the matching part. Then Carlita Beatriz, you read color red, red, and Gabby reads the matching part, okay? Okay. Excellent. I, Mike, uh, can you buy me a carton of orange? Who use? Uh, what is to comprar? Can you buy me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hi, Itzel. Hi, teacher. Hey, Brenda is supposed to be with you, but she is not here. She hasn't yes. accepted the invitation. Okay, okay. no matter. Let's uh, 
Let's do the exercise right now. Okay. Okay, get, take a look at my screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read the letter A and you tell me the answer, right? Can you buy okay. me a cartoon of orange juice? Uh, can you buy me? Then you have the alternatives, right? She yes. takes off her shoes. Continue reading. Okay. Uh, the letter A is, can you buy me a cartoon of orange juice? Juan Carlos, hello, good morning. So Juan Carlos is gonna be with you, okay? Hello, hello. Okay. Okay, Juan Carlos is gonna be with you. Okay, Juan Carlos, what you have to do here, morning, morning, is to um, match, okay? Hello, good morning. Match, good morning, Juan Carlos. You're gonna work with Itzel, okay? You're gonna match the sentences from column A to the sentences with the numbers, okay? Okay. Do you have the information, Itzel? Yes, yes. I... Ah, okay. Mm -hmm because I'm going to stop sharing so you can work with Juan Carlos right now. Okay, okay. wait a minute. Very good. Hi, Sophie Blanquita. Good morning. Hi, morning. How are you, Blanquita? Fine. Oh, great. Very <laughs> good it, to hear it, that. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, don't worry. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's match. Blanquita, read letter A, please. And Sophie, you try to give me the correct sentence on column B. Uh, can you buy a cartoon of orange juice? Mm -hmm. Sophie, hello. Hi, sorry, I am reading. Okay, okay, uh -huh. check. When you go shopping, please. Okay, aha, uh -huh. so the letter A is number five, okay? Maybe, do you have a, aha, uh aha, -huh. uh -huh. exactly. They're in dibujar if you want, okay. Okay. No. Maybe there, uh -huh, with your pencil. Okay, very good. When you go shopping, please. Very good. Continue with the other one, letter B. Tidy your bedroom. Buenos mm dias. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tidy. Okay, my friends. Wow, what a beautiful spider web. Tripachuca. <laughs> <laughs> Tripachuca. <laughs> okay, let's check. Uh, Exa, read the number one, please. Uh, Can Carlita, you buy me a carton of orange juice mm -hmm. uh, when you go shopping, please? Very good. Excellent, Carlita. Uh, the number two. Mm -hmm. Tidy your bathroom before you go out to play. Okay, okay. It says here, uh, repeat, tidy. Tidy. Okay, tidy. It, it would be like, like this, okay? Check. Okay. Tidy, okay? Tidy. Tidy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tidy Tidy your room, okay, before you go out to play. Very good. Uh -huh, very good. Gabby? When we go to party, we take a gift with us. Great. Exam? Before you go to bed, turn the light off. Okay, great. Carlita? Um, after they eat, mm -hmm. they always do the homework. Okay. Uh -huh. Gabby? When she get home, she take off her shoes. Yes, this is necessary now, right? <laughs> okay, great. Yes. Okay, Exa. He takes a shower after he get, gets up. 
after uh -huh, he gets up. Excellent. Okay, very good. Did you see? We have some phrases, adverbs, right? When you say when, after, before, okay? They are the most common to use. They are the most common ones. And they are the ones that we have in the platform. Okay, very good, guys. Now we check it, okay, with everybody. And okay. you help me to give the answers. Great. Now we're gonna check the answers, okay? Help me please, the number one, Gabby, read the number one. The second one, eh, help me, eh, Itzel. Number three, Ili. Okay. Ivan, number four. There we go. Okay, I start. You start. Okay, uh, letter A, can mm -hmm. you buy me a carton of orange juice? Okay, very good. Can you buy me a carton of orange juice? Uh huh. And uh, is the number five when you go shopping, please? When you go shopping, okay, great. Very good, very good. Next, letter B. Letter B. Tidy your bedroom. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And number four, after he gets up. Ah, after he gets. Up. Uh -huh. up. Yes. What do you think? Well, it would be a common sense answer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I have another answer here. Mm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Any other possibility? I don't know. Teacher. Yes, Ili? Maybe. Yes. Uh, uh, what is Ah, yes. With four. Uh, Mm -hmm. And to and to have a four. Ah, so you have yes, B with four. We with the number four. Tidy your room after he gets up. Really? Aha. Uh -huh. Give me another possibility. Okay, don't don't worry. I'm I'm, I'm number gonna seven. I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over the other ones because there is another one that doesn't match. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Carlita Aguilar, give me the number three. Mm, okay. When you go to a party. When we when we when we go to a party, mm -hmm. we take a gift for us. Okay. Uh, with us. With us. Uh -huh. Okay. That would be like this. Uh huh. Okay, letter D, letter D. Okay, Franklin. Before you go to bed, mm -hmm. um, D, sorry, one moment. Okay. Uh, number two, mm -hmm. turn the light off. Excellent, turn the lights off, great. Okay, Juan Carlos. After the letter E. Hi, Juan Carlos. Hello. Okay, Blanquita, tell me, after the eat. They always do the homework. Okay, they always do homework, Sophie. Thank you. Okay, after they eat, they always do their homework. Uh -huh. Letter F, Araceli. Letter F. Mm -hmm. When she get up, when she get home. Mm -hmm. Number one, mm -hmm. she takes off her shoes. Okay, she takes off her shoes. Excellent, very good. Now, my friends, we have this one. Tidy your room and he takes a shower. Uh-huh. So, when do you take a shower? Mm-hmm. The options, before you go out to play or after... Uh, you get up. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? When do you take a shower? After he get up. After he get up. 
Ah, okay. So he takes a shower after he gets up. Very good. And tidy your room before you go out to play. Okay, that is the last choice that we have here. Okay. It could be a possibility, don't worry, uh, itself, you gave me an Ili, you gave me another answer, but here pay attention to the he, okay? In the letter G is he, so the answer for the, <clears throat> for the number four is a he as well, okay? So you have to match, in this case, the, 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 the pronouns, okay? That's it. So if you see, in these questions, we have the use of when, after, before, etc. Okay. For example, if I ask, okay, Ivan, Ivan, what do you do after you eat breakfast? Hello, Ivan. Hello, 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 Ivan. What do you do after you eat breakfast? I be begin to the work. Ah, okay, that's it. So you see, my friend Ivan, if you want to use the adverb in this case of time, you say, after I eat breakfast, I begin to work. You see, you are using the adverb there, before, after, when. You know, in the platform, we have just some before, after, when. Okay, and what is the other one that we have there? You remember in the platform? <clears throat> Before, after, when is in another topic. <clears throat> so until, until, very good. But Why I gave you, you mm -hmm, I gave you extra. I gave you extra. As soon as, okay, as, okay, whenever. Those are extra because there are more, not just like those, right? So uh, this is the, the, the practice for this. So similar is going to be your oral presentation, but you have to make up, invent a festivity, okay? Whatever you want, this is optional, okay? And describe what people do in the celebration that you are going to invent, okay? Using before, after, when, until, etc., etc. Okay. If you have questions, let me know. Okay. If you have problems understanding the, the homework, tell me, send me a message and I'm going to help you. Right. Okay. So, my friends, we are going to start. Okay. The topic. Okay. For section number four. And uh, I'm going to ask Carlita Joana. Hello, Carlita Joana. Are you there? Hello, hello, hello Carlita. Do you hello. remember your childhood, Carlita? Do you uh, remember your childhood when you were a kid, a little yes. Carlita? Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. I remember. Was it good or a little bad? No, it was uh, very, very good. Okay, tell me some things that you remember with all your heart, with love. Uh -huh. I remember that uh, was a good student. Oh, it, was it? <laughs> it was because, because actually... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nowadays, remember, nowadays? Nowadays, uh, not much. <laughs> not much, okay. Other, other good it thing about might... you. My childhood, it was very happy because I was visit different place with my parents and my friends. Okay. Uh -huh. um, uh, for the restaurant, a uh, park. Oh, I man. was play with my Game Boy in the uh, afternoon. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Very good. So you prefer your childhood or the present? <laughs> I prefer the childhood. Ah, oh, you prefer the childhood. Okay, good, very good. Okay. What about my friend Elena? Hi, Elena. Good morning. 
Morning, morning. Good morning, teacher. How are you, Elena? How are you? Me acabo de conectar. Yes, don't worry, uh, Elena. I'm going to ask uh, you a question, a simple question, Elena. What do you prefer, Elena? Your childhood, when you were a baby, a kid, or now, the present? What, what do you mean, childhood? Childhood, Elena, is when you were a kid, a girl, a little girl. Five years old, four years old, ten years old, seven, okay? In the past, when you were a uh, cipota. <laughs> uh, what do you prefer, when you were a kid or now that you are an adult with responsibilities? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Put that in a balance. What do you prefer? When playing in the school? Do you prefer playing in the school with your friends, Mika and everything, or now that you are working, you have your family, your kids? I prefer um, before. Oh, before? Okay. <laughs> okay, Elena. Did you, did you live in San Salvador when you were a kid? Um, uh, temporalmente, como se dice? Temporary. Temporary, mm -hmm. I live Some years. Uh, in, in San Vicente oh, now. Okay. Because mm -hmm. my, my house in San Salvador, um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, are, are, are have a remodelation. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Also, mm -hmm. uh, right uh, now you are living right. in you are living San in San Vicente. Yes. Oh really? Mm -hmm. I hear in San Vicente. What do you prefer, in San Vicente or San Salvador? Um, both. Both. <laughs> because ah, okay. uh, here is is my beat. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the air. They are poor. <laughs> yes, it's true. Uh, uh -huh. You have more nature. Mm -hmm. um, I am. I am with my family. Mm -hmm. Are you with your mother? With my uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. with my mother. Great. Um, but it's temporary. <laughs> ah, temporary. Okay. Yes, I know. Okay. Very good. Well, I'm asking this question, guys, because the section number five, four, I'm sorry, is this one. Okay. Times have changed. Okay. Look, times have changed. Okay. Tell me some changes that you can see. Okay, from the time that you were children at the time now that you are adults. Exa, what has changed in your life? Well, <laughs> uh -huh. for example, uh, I'm now living with my parents. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to work. <laughs> okay, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> the responsibility and in the past no right no mm -hmm. i just eat i, I have to cook okay uh -huh. in the past no right just just mommy what <laughs> okay great times have changed okay for good or for bad times have changed this is what we have here because we are going to study guys today and tomorrow these tenses that are important the past the present and the future the past the present and the future so we have three categories okay repeat categories categories okay gabby can you read the three categories please Okay, well, Gabby is sending a message right now. Okay. Oh, so she's connecting there. Okay, Itzel, read the three categories. Okay. Uh, 
entertainment. Very good. Next. Transportation. And next. And communication. Very good. What about entertainment in the past? It's a uh, radio and movie. The present. Uh, computer games, high definition TV, uh -huh. and 3D movies. Oh, this is the present, right? And what uh, about the future itself? Thought? Uh, dot, control, controlled video games, and virtual reality the movies okay uh-huh they are in questions because nobody knows the future okay that's it nobody knows the future virtual reality movies hmm. we don't know very good this is related to entertainment okay we continue with the other one araceli transportation please <clears throat> okay in the past Um, they lose, they lose, um, ocean liners. Uh huh. Very good. What about in the present? Hybrid mm. cars. Hybrid cars, high speed trains, mm -hmm. um, a spacecraft. Okay. Very good. Spacecraft. You remember Apollo 13 and all the stuff. Uh huh. And what about the future? Self-driving cars, GPS shoes, <laughs> and ties watch machine. Aha, uh -huh. time machines. This is a question. Remember, self-driven cars, GPS shoes, and time machines. And time so, machines. Ah, okay. very good, Araceli. We don't know. Huh? We don't know the future. Communications, Ili. Sure, but yes? self-driving cars exist. Yes, this already exists. They are not so common, though. Remember, only a well, or, or we can have here. Well, remember, this book was from some years ago. Okay, very, very expensive. He will have here, yes. Now they are very expensive. Not everybody could have them, right? Okay, so they are considered to be still like uh, a trend. Okay, okay, this is for the future. Okay. Communications, what did we have for communications in the past? In the past, the, the telephone and the postal system. Ah, cards, remember letters and everything. Present. Uh, text messaging. Messages. Video, messaging, a video phone mm -hmm. and social networking. Social networking, this is the present. What about the future? Cell phone implants, uh, sensory internet, and 3D social networking. Ah, uh -huh, very good. That's it. Cell phone implants. Gosh, you're going to have your cell phone inside, right? Maybe here next to, I don't know. So this is the past, the present, and the future. The future, guys, you know, this is in a question mark because we don't know what is going to happen here. Okay, so look, we have to use some expressions, some structures for the past, for the present and for the future. I think that for the future, you don't have a lot of problems, okay? Will, okay, going to, okay. But in the past tense, this is a tense that most of the time students a, make a lot of mistakes. Why? It's not because a, they don't know. They know the past tense, but they don't remember the verbs in past. So this is important. We are going to start with the past tense, okay? Because I want you to have a practice with this. The past tense, remember, is subject. And then what do you remember? What is the structure for the past tense? Can you refresh my memory? Subject. Where to be, what, where, what, what where? really? Uh, what? No. Auxiliary what? in past? The auxiliary in past, no. What have? No. <laughs> uh, you remember? The very, the very yes, I don't the say. Very past. That's it, look. 
the verb in past. Only that. No me le mezcle was, where, did. No, only the verb in past. Okay? The subject, the verb in past, and the complement. Okay? Only that. No problem with that. Okay? Subject, verb in past, and the complement. Subject, verb in past, and complement. This is for positive sentences, right? Look. What about for negative sentences? Do you remember? Tell me. Hoy sí voy a usar un auxilio. Aha. Tell me the structure, please. That's the number one. Uh -huh. Subject. Subject. Uh -huh. Very good. Next. In negative. Didn't. Didn't. Very good. Uh -huh. Thank you. Didn't. Then. Mm -hmm. uh, verb in present. The verb in present. Excellent. Look. Uh -huh. Plus. Complement. Complement. Okay, that's it. This is what we have in negative sentences, right? That's it. So, in the positive sentences, please be careful to say, I was, I was go, I was do, I was play. No, only the verb in past. In the negative sentences, please, I want you to use didn't, didn't, and the verb in present, present, okay? This is the structure that we have for the simple past. Look, a few years ago, not many people lived here. Aquí no dice was live, no were live. Only the verb in past, okay? Only the verb in past. So, not many people, subject. Lived, verb in past. Complement, here, okay? So you see, it's not that difficult, okay? Think about your childhood. Pensemos en su niñez. Think about your childhood. Okay. So the question for everybody is here. Okay. What did you do? What did you do in your childhood? Okay. Tell me. What did you do in your childhood? Okay. I want you to tell me. Okay. In this case. Sentences in past because your childhood is not the present, is the past. Okay, Carlita Beatriz, give me one sentence, please. What did you do in your childhood? Um, I um, I played with my daughter, my mm -hmm. my huh? do dolls. <laughs> ah, with your dolls. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. You played with your dolls. Very good. Carlita Joana, what did you do in your childhood? I, I learned mm -hmm. to play with my roller. Oh, very good. Eh? She learned to play with her roller. Very good. You see, Carlita, you say learned, right? In the verb in past. Ili, yes. what did you do in your childhood, Ili? I went to uh, a class. Okay, great. Very good. Did you learn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great, very good. Giovanni, what did you do in your childhood? Uh, I fall with my brother. Oh, 
really? Oh, I followed. <laughs> okay, great. Very good. Oh, that was a very common, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, I have another question, Jova. Who won? Your brother or you? Um, the sometime uh -huh. my brother and <laughs> Maybe, no, I don't know. Okay. Depends. Depends, Depends the, the day. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Uh, Itzel, what did you do in your childhood? I played uh, the cook. Okay. Ah, cooking. Cooking. Um, cooking. Hacíamos oh, oh, tortitas de lodo. <laughs> In English, how do you say hacíamos? Um, um, I don't know. I made. Excellent. Made. Uh -huh. made. Uh -huh. I made. Made. It. Um, lodo. <laughs> I, I'm gonna help you. This is this is lodo. Look. Okay. You pronounce it mud. Uh -huh. uh, mud. Uh, okay. We made. We made uh, mad. Mad tortillas. Tortilla, yes. <laughs> oh, delicious. <laughs> With my, my cousin. <laughs> oh, great. Very yeah. good. Very good. You, you know, that is the past, right? That is the past. The subject, the verb in past, and the complement, okay? Now we're going to check here, okay, because this is important, guys. Uy, teacher, qué chiva la estructura, pero no me puedo los verbos. Ah, that is the big problem, okay? We're going to check here. Quiero que activen sus micrófonos, please, okay? Activa your microphone because I need to check here something. Vamos, por lo fácil. Go. What is the past tense go. of go? Went. 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 Aha, very good. What about if I have, for example, climb? Climb. 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 Aha. What, I'm, excuse me, can you please repeat everybody? No problem, if you make mistakes, don't be afraid. Claim, claim. Claim. Ah, with ED, right? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. ¿Se acuerdan allá los chicos que estuvieron conmigo presenciales? Dijimos que cuando van con ED, ah, es como, es como que pronunciáramos una, una D, right? Claimed, okay? Claimed. Claimed, ajá, uh -huh, very good. What about if I have it? Eight. 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 Excellent. What about if I have buy? Oops. Buy. Boat. Ah, very Boat. good. Boat. Very good. What about if I have play? Play. 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 Excellent. What about if I have lose? Lost. 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 Excellent. Wait, let me see. Drink. Drunk. Uh -huh. With you or with A? A. 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 Make, make, made. made. In all the Chinese toys, <laughs> you have this. <laughs> yes. Pero lo decimos más de in, right? But the pronunciation <laughs> is made. Uh -huh. made. Made. Very good. Next, uh, I can have fly. No. Flu. Flu. Uh -huh. Flu. 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 Okay. F L E W. Uh -huh. Flu. Okay. Very good. Flu. Uh, let me see. I'm, I'm giving you the, the easy ones, right? The, the most common ones, right? Close. 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 Aha, uh -huh. ED. Very good. Study. 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 Studied. Studied. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Another one. Leave. 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 Aha, uh -huh. okay. In this case, guys, you have the pronunciation. Like this, you say lived, 
Pronounce it, please. Lived. 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 Uh -huh. Lived. Lived. Okay. La E no se pronuncia nunca. Lived o player. No. Played. Lived. Okay. That sounds better. Okay. When we express this. So, when a person asks you, hey, what did you do in your childhood? Oh, you have to say, I, and the verbing, the verbing, Great. Mm -hmm. in present what? or past? What? Past. In past. Past. No present, uh -huh. in past. In no past. me le agrega el was. No where. No sé si se acuerdan de lo que les decía. El was, el where, con otro verbo, son enemies. You cannot be together. Para que no se les olvide, you and your ex. Ah, ok. Not together. Uh -huh. That's it. The verb be is here, guys. Ok. Not used for the past. It's just the verb in past. So, this is the first one. Look, a few years ago, not many people lived, okay, here. Tengo otra expresión. Look, used to. Repeat, used to. Used, used to. to. Used to. Used to. This is, used. Uh -huh, used to. Very good. The used is always in past. Look, subject plus... Just, just to plus yes, verb there. in present. Mm. Last complement. So teacher, <laughs> eh, so teacher, what is it used to? Usado, teacher. Pato. Yo usada, no. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> no. In this case, it's solía. Ah. Oh. Is an action that you did in the past, but no more in the present. No more in the present. Just to. Por ejemplo, solía reventar. Solía reventar de qué? O rentar. No, no es rentar. Hoy, rentar. Ajá. Alquilar. Alquilar, ajá. Just solía rentar, uh -huh. very good, uh -huh. alquilar, no problem, uh -huh. so very good, then I used to climb trees, <laughs> no anymore, ay ya no puedo con esta pan, <laughs> difficult for me to climb trees now, but in the past guys, ooh, when I was a child, when I was 10 years old, I used to be a monkey. I used to climb trees with my cousins in the past, but no anymore. Another one, tell me, uh, let me see Franklin. What did you do in your childhood, Franklin? Use expressions with used to, please. Um, usando el used to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cuando ustedes les hablan en pasado, mm -hmm, ustedes tienen dos opciones, o decir el verbo en pasado o usar la estructura del used to. ¿Ok? Frankly. I used to run uh, very fast. Oh, oh very uh, good. Yes. Now, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Frank used to run very fast. Very good. Okay. Juan Carlos, what did you used to do when you were a kid? Uh, I used to go to school. Oh, very good. JC used to go to school. Uh huh. Very good. Do you go to school now? No anymore. Well, I suppose now, right? Mm -hmm. So you see, guys, this is the structure when you want to say solía. Ay. 
Ay, solía ser feliz. Ah, I used, eh? I used, listen, used to be, ser, look, happy, right? Look, that's it. What about for negatives? Tell me, for finishing this part, for time contrast, for negatives, what is the negative? Can you help me with the negative structure, please? Subject. Subject, very I, good. Plus? Uh, didn't. Didn't, uh -huh. very good. This is the structure, guys, for past. For past in negative, in negative. Didn't, plus? Used to. Used to, but used to is in present or past, Ili? In present. In present. In present. Thank in present. you. In present. Why? Because the auxiliary is in negative. Perfect. Very good. Used, I'm sorry. Used to plus, and what is missing? Verb. 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 Present. Mm -hmm. In past or present? Present. Present. Excellent. Plus the complement. And there you have, guys, the structure for this, right? So I want to say, for example, como diría Elena, teacher, yo no solía jugar sola, for example. Yo no solía jugar sola. How would you say this, uh -huh, Elena? I, I didn't uh -huh. used to play alone. Perfect. I didn't used to play alone. Okay. Brendita, hello, Brendita. Can you hear me? Brenda one, Brenda two, Brenda three. No Brenda there, okay. Blanquita, how would you say there? Yo o oh, mis amigos no solían, ok, ir a mi casa, por ejemplo. Blanquita one, blanquita two. Ok. Que se me hace que están por ahí cuando escuchan blanquita. No, es que viera que saber qué le pasa a mis micrófonos, pero ok. Ah, ok, don't worry, Blanquita. Ok, mis amigos my, no solían ir a mi casa. My friend uh -huh. didn't, didn't use to go uh -huh. to my house. Great, very good, very good, ok. My Yo solita me voy a aplaudir. didn't use to, very good, great. My, <laughs> I like that, uh -huh. <laughs> Ve, my friend didn't used to go to my house. Perfect. So you see, guys, two, two structures. Now tell me, ¿cuáles son las dos estructuras del pasado? Vamos a ver, let's see. Tell me. Activate your microphones and tell me. Mm -hmm. Subject. Subject. Verb pass. The verb in pass. With was or where? Mm -hmm. Was aware. Le ponemos was aware. Ajá. Nunca. No. Never. 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 Okay. No, no. Never. Never. Okay. Was Plus aware. Plus complement. Plus, ajá. The verb in past. O sea, esa listita que le va a caer dentro de un momento. To refresh your memory. Okay. <laughs> Because okay. we're going to practice. Tomorrow, we're going to practice the past tense, okay? So, negative. What do you use in negative? What is the auxiliary that you use in negative? Didn't. Didn't. And the verb in? Present. 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 There is a second structure. ¿Cuál es la estructura que aprendimos hoy? Solía. How do you say solía in English? Used to. Used to. Used to. Very good. No solía. 
And the verb in past, right? No. 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 The verb in present. Excellent. Okay. Very, very good. So tomorrow, please be ready to answer the question. Mañana no me van a salir. I don't remember. Vaya a ver la foto. Look at the picture. Ay, mira, si es que era bien chiquita. Okay. Ve. Solía ser delgada. Bueno. Okay. Teacher, y esto solo es cuando no es niño. No, guys. Espero que después de la pandemia hemos cambiado un poquito, right? Oh. Sí, yo solía ser bien arrogante, ¿ve? I used to be arrogant, but after the pandemic, I changed my behavior. Oh, wow. Or, teacher, last year, I used to be lazy. <laughs> Now, teacher, I am responsible and punctual. Oh, great. Did you see? This is not only for childhood memories. This is for changes in your life. Okay? Questions? Comments? No questions, Gaby, Elena, Jova, Juan Carlos? No? no? Okay. Tomorrow we practice. Okay? Tomorrow we're going to do the speaking yes. practice. Okay? Yes, Blanquita? No, la, la, ah. la asistencia. Oh, yes. Okay, the attendance right now. Okay, eh, Brendita, you have a problem there? No? Okay, my friends, Yesenia Iveta Barca Vasquez is absent. Okay, Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Very good. Verónica Beatriz Celso. Absent. Osman Yetzau de León. Present. Excellent. Vania Itzel Deras. I'm here. Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Carla Joana de Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Orantes. Present. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes. Present. Dalila Estela Silva. Absent. María Araceli González. Present. Sinia Elizabeth Mejía. Absent, Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Present. Excellent. Juan, eh, eh, I'm sorry, Claudia Ileana Casun. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales. Brendita, ah, okay, Brendita is there. Thank you, Brendita. Herbert Iván Martínez. Present teacher. Karen Lisset Reyes. Okay, absent. Carmen Elena Cornejo. Present. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera. Okay. Frank, okay, is uh, absent. Okay. Good guy. Thank you very much for joining the class today. Thank you for being so punctual. Thank you for your participation as well. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, teacher. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye, teacher. Take care. Have a good day.